Right, so I recently got an inquiry from Kim, and she was asking about this person right here, Tomi Ariyomi, with the sub count, 181,000 subs. If we go over to his About tab, his videos have captured over 12 million views. That is quite astonishing. Kim wanted to know if this guy was a true prophet. So I told Kim that I'd take a look, and so that's what I'm going to present to you today, my findings. Now, as I was going through some of Tomi's videos, I came across this one. This one was made, you can see the date, July 9th, 2019. Look at the views, 340,000. Look at the title, 2020 Prophecy. Oh boy, the masses love these prophecy videos because they get their itching ears tickled. The next UK Prime Minister, what does this say? President Trump re-election. All right, so let's give a listen to what he's going to say here. To Steve with blinders on his eyes. Oh no, the people will taunt. Another four years of Trump. You like a steed with blinders on his eyes. Oh no, the people will taunt. Another four years of Trump. You. All right, so here he is prophesying, actually saying, you know, that God says uh, that the people were saying, oh no, another four years of Trump. So <laughs> false prophecy right here. Let's go to the next one. All right, on this next video, you can see the title, 2020 USA Prophecy, 18 Prophetic Landmarks for the United States. This video was made on January 30th of 2020. 156,000 views. Pretty impressive. Let's see what, uh, what old Tommy here is saying. The Spirit of God says, last year, America, your election was divisive. So, number one, you can see what he puts there. Last year's election was divisive. This year's election is decisive. Boy, I have to tell you, the 2020 presidential election was anything but decisive. Uh, there was a lot of controversy there. So, think of that. But this year, your election will be decisive. I'm ready, says the Lord, to do a new thing in the earth. I'm ready to shake the United States in my sieve and depose kings and set up others to take their place. America, you will know me as the God that changes times and seasons, that sets up kings and deposes them. The Spirit of God says that this president will serve out his full term, but that there are those... All right, so... Clearly, he's saying that Trump is, was going to be victorious in 2020. And that didn't happen. So again, false prophecy from a false prophet. If we jump ahead a little bit to 4 minutes and 11 seconds. In your president's final term, I heard the enemy shouting. And listen to what he said. Not another Trump. For the Lord says, I desire not just a presidency, but a dynasty. So again, this guy is just way off. But listen to the music in the background. He's got the setting. And it sounds, you know, religious. You believe this guy is really hearing from God, right? But he was wrong. Now, just for good measure, we'll look at a couple of uh, other bullet points he put on this 2020 USA prophecy. 2020, the Spirit of God says, shall be a boomerang year. The Lord says, your enemy did not know that the noose Haman built for Mordecai was the noose that was used for Haman. I it is incredible how many false prophets draw on the book of Esther. It's ad nauseum. Just pointing that out. I will uncover and I will expose and put under arrest those who set themselves in secret to plot and conspire. And you will know, says the Lord, that Psalms 2 has been fulfilled in your hearing. Twen so he said there was going to be arrests, uncoverings. Uh, none of that happened. As far as I know, nobody was arrested in 2020. 
nothing was uncovered or at least at that point provable and much of it even today this is the same type of thing that people like amanda grace and julie green prophesied exposures uncovering so on and so forth none of that happened now this one's kind of interesting listen to what he says here i saw a supreme court judge dropping their gavel and it looks like either someone got sick or they died or they moved from their position but it looked like another seat was getting ready to be made available. And the Spirit of God says, this will be my swing vote seat, and I will replace it with that which will shift the balance of powers judicially. Very interesting, right? Did, uh, did Tommy get one right? Now, I want to appeal to common sense here. Again, I highlight this so you can see the date. This particular prophecy, this video was made on January 20th, right? Now, if you come over to, over to Google, we can see that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died on September 18th, 2020. So this seems like a legit prophecy, doesn't it? Is it? What do you guys think? I found an interesting article, and this has to do with Ruth Bader Ginsburg's health scares and recoveries from surviving cancer to fracturing her ribs. And you can go through this and you can find out that at the time, uh, here it says most recently, the 87 year old associate Supreme Court just uh, up to Friday that she's being treated for recurrence of cancer in her liver. Now, Ruth Bader Ginsburg had cancer five times. So she battled cancer. And if you scroll, I mean, this is just one article, but I'm, I'm sure it's out there. Uh, even up until January, she had completed, see, there's her third bout with cancer in 2018. So this woman was very sick. And even at the time of the making of Tommy's uh, video, I'm just trying to scroll so you guys know that I'm not doing any any funny stuff here um well maybe i scrolled past it but uh here she in january 2020 she went on to tell cnn that she was cancer free um but then even after that i believe it uh it came back after that yeah here it says in july two months after receiving treatment for the benign gallbladder condition she was uh being treated so this woman was constantly sick and she was 87 years old so again you can say well it, it's still a prophecy fulfilled i guess kind of you know he didn't name her by name that would have been impressive <laughs> but uh you know even the the bible says some of these prophets will uh will get something right once in a while i mean i prophesied uh, last year that Queen Elizabeth was going to die eight months before she died. Did I get accolades and praises? No, it was just an educated guess. You look at somebody who's old, you look at somebody who's been terribly sick, um, and you can make a prediction based on what you read in the news. But either way, we, we I guess we have to give this one to Tommy. All right, let's listen to this next one. L.A., the Spirit of God says the day will come. Make a note of it. L.A., Los Angeles, a new Azusa. But I will signal a turning of the tide and renew a new Azusa in you. I will erect a stage that will clean out and point a generation back to me, says the Lord. I will cause prayer movements and secret prayer groups to become hiding places for celebrity repentance and restoration and rehabilitation. For I will be glorified in my vessels that I have raised up, says the Lord. And this shall be a year of a new breed and a new new strand of pop culture Christianity. A new Hollywood shall arise. And it shall Does anybody remember this happening in 2020? <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's, it's actually gotten worse. 
caused a hidden army to compete with LA's historic star-making engine. I will call for a competitor state to provoke my state to change. For 2020 shall be a year of sharpening my LA bride, both in the prophetic and in their marketplace capacity. Absolutely none of this happened. But look how sincere he looks, right? It sounds good. And again, you've got that music playing in the background. People just believe this. It, it was total nonsense. None of this happened in L.A. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And stay with me because there's one thing you may have noticed that he's missing about prophecy for 2020. We'll watch one more here. That I saw a boiling pot. Oh, Chicago, you are my boiling point, and the pot is ready to reach its full measure. I will call for the resignations of failed leaders, both policing and political, and will make you a stage for a new awakening. I will lift the covering cast from off of your eyes and will call for change at a federal level. No longer will you be forgotten in the shadows, but I will send for hope to be restored from a place of great weeping. You will raise up a justice cry in the earth that I will hear and I will release your economic prophets to announce your change has come. And whilst we're in this... Now, that all sounded good, right? Did that actually happen? Here we've got a Google search, Chicago murder sky skyrocket in 2020. It is... I mean, you can go through this, nothing changed. It actually got worse, and it's progressively been getting worse since then. As far as corrupt leaders, uh, the governor of Illinois is J.B. Pritzker. He's been in power since 2019. On the right, you see the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot. She's also been in power since 2019. Nobody's been removed. Nothing uncovered. There's been... I mean, J.B. JB Pritzker recently enacted a, a ban on assault weapons that I think 90% of the state of Illinois sheriff's departments are refusing to enforce. So what he said was going to happen in Chicago did not happen. False prophecy. Now, the last one that he talked about, of course, was a rise in the school of the prophets because these false prophets always like to promote prophets that they're somehow necessary to your salvation. And without them, you just wouldn't be able to function. But conspicuously absent in his 2020 prophecy was the, uh, the virus. And I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. Nowhere to be found in his prophecies. In fact, if you do go and listen to this video, um, well, I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, so the uh, the virus was not prophesied. And of course, none of the prophets, the so-called prophets, got that. You know why? Because they're all false prophets. So as I reviewed uh, Tommy, and I apologize if I'm saying his name, maybe it's Tommy, Tommy. Um, but as I review uh, t Tommy Arayomi, uh, he's a false prophet. And he kind of got the Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but that's a stretch. He didn't name her by name, didn't give a date. He just said it would happen. And anybody can do that when you're prophesying about elderly people who have battled five different times uh, cancer and other, you know, ailments that she suffered with. She was not a healthy person. Uh, but like I said, we'll give him that. But that really doesn't even matter. Even if he did name a name and a date, uh, although it, that would be impressive, he still got many other prophecies wrong. Now, either you follow God's word or you don't. I follow God's word. In Deuteronomy 18, God gives specifications on how to judge if a prophet is correct or not, or true or not. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of the other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if you say in thine heart, how shall we know the word that the Lord has not spoken when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord? If the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but that prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. 
And that's exactly what we documented here today. Tomi Ariyomi is a false prophet. He might speak well, he might have soft music playing, he might look sincere and seem sincere, um, but he spoke things which did not come to pass, and according to the Bible, God did not speak it. He's a false prophet. Stay away from him.